Hello, welcome to YQ Academy for Python course. I am your instructor, Seth Bhutta. So topic for discussion is working with numbers. In this video, we'll cover the basics of numeric data types in Python. Perform mathematic operations of numeric and explore some inbuilt functions for working with numbers. So part one is the numeric data types. So in Python, there are three types of numeric data types. First one is integer, second one is floating point, third one is the complex numbers. Integers are whole numbers uh, with no decimal point, floating point uh, numbers having a decimal point, and complex numbers consist of a real and imaginary part. So here are uh, an example of how to declare each type of numbers. So let's declare them. First one is the integer. So, a simple whole number uh, without any uh, decimal point. Uh, second one is the floating point. Let's say 3.14. So, integer with decimal point. So, third one is the complex numbers. So, a real part. Uh, let's say two and an imaginary part so this one is the complex number okay so python provides several arithmetic operations for working with numbers uh, let's uh, take some examples so let's make up uh, two variables uh, a uh, is value 10 and base value 5. So first uh, arithmetic operation is the addition. Okay, so we can uh, simply add two numbers by just putting the uh, plus operator between two numbers so let's print c and check the result okay so you guys can see on the screen i just add a and b and store the result in value a c and when i print the c i get the uh, addition okay which is 15. so second one is the uh, Subtraction. Okay, let's make another variable and do the subtraction. Let's print D. Okay, again, uh, subtraction A uh, minus B is 5 and it is uh, printing the accurate result. So next one is the multiplication. Okay, let's make another variable a multiplication b. So we can simply do the multiplication by putting this star sign between the two numbers. So print e and uh, will get the 50 so 10 into 5 is exactly 50 next one is the vision okay so uh, again let's make another variable and store the division result of a divided by b so one i'll print f Okay, so it is exactly 2.0. So next one is the modulus. Okay, so modulus. 
modulus is uh, simply rem uh, taking the a remainder b so we'll take the modulus or we'll take the remainder by using this percentage sign friend g okay so we'll get zero it means that a is completely divisible by b and uh, we can see that 10 is completely divisible by 5 and remainder is just 0 okay so last one is the exponentiation let's uh, check this one also H is equal to a double star uh, and double star means the exponentiation so let's print H and check yeah exactly 10 uh, exponent 5 it means 10 power 5 which is exactly this answer okay so these were these were all the uh, inbuilt uh, arithmetic operations and let's check some uh, inbuilt functions so uh, we have uh, the uh, five uh, inbuilt functions which is absolute round mean max and some let's check them one by one so let's make uh, other variables let's say q is equal to uh, 10 and uh, let's say w is equal to 3.14 okay so first one is the absolute function it will give the absolute value of a number so let's print absolute uh, q instead of a let's say um, just check that the absolute value of uh, a is obviously 10 so next one is the round 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 actually rounds a number uh, to a specific number of decimal place so we have this number let's check this number and round w so it is a decimal number and but using the round it, it actually uh, round the specific number of decimal place okay so next one is the main so let's uh, check this it will uh, take two values and return the minimum of them so let's uh, do this main um, q and w and let's check okay the minimum of 10 and 3.14 is 3.14 in the same way we have the max function it will give the maximum of two values again q and w and uh, let's just run this so it just gave me the 10 which is the maximum